Solar panels are gonna soon overtake landfills. They're gonna be everywhere, right? Wrong. Hey everyone out there, welcome back to the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And what I opened with there is that solar panels are just gonna be everywhere. Sides of the roads, discarded, the dump, everywhere you go, they're just gonna be everywhere, right? No. What's going to happen is what's already happening. And I know a lot of people online are concerned about this, as you should be, right? Because it is a real concern. Those of us, rest assured, in the industry feel the same way. Because of this, there is a large amount of financing being invested. There is a large amount of attention, focus, and resources being thrown into this. What I'd like to present to a lot of you is, obviously this is a, a movement that's gonna take some time, some investment, and some, some technology and some strategy, but we're, we're making the moves and we're heading that way. Let me explain. Back 20 plus years ago, you were able to take your big wood-framed television that weighed six billion pounds and throw it in a dumpster, right? Then you couldn't do that anymore because we had the whole, e remember the e-waste? industry that was born, computers, laptops, microwaves, all these weird electronics that you, that you no longer all of a sudden could just discard easily, right? And then do you remember what happened, if you're old enough to remember what happened, um, when this began, there were like stoves and televisions on the side of the woods and like the sides of the roads and like this was a real thing. This was actually beginning to happen because it was too costly to get rid of them. Then where are we today? There's no charge to get rid of e-waste. They take it for free. Why? Because they take that laptop, they bring it to a place, they strip it down. Now, you may not know this. There are precious metals. There are like gold, copper, silver, uh, platinum. There's all kinds of things in a lot of our electronic devices. These things still have lots of value, whether they can be melted down and sold or just reused, what have you, the glass. Like there's a lot of parts to these electronic devices that get reused. For instance, I believe Apple has a machine like within five to 10 or 20 seconds that can take any model iPhone and literally strip it down to every single part and separate it, reuse what they can and discard what they can. We're heading there. We're heading there, that's the good news. So for those of you who are on the bandwagon of saying, look, in 20 years, we're gonna have a massive problem. We aren't, we aren't, it's that simple. There are already companies set up today, real corporations, LLCs, there are real businesses that are already doing this today. That's it, just imagine when you fast forward, right? And you start throwing companies like BlackRock and other investment houses, start seeing how you can, this can be profitable. And then you have companies like LG or SunPower that actually create and make their own panels. They're gonna get into this when it becomes affordable too. And then you'll have an abundance of everybody recycling all these materials. Now, it's true. There will be some materials you won't be able to. Okay, that's a given and which will have protocols and guidelines and standing operating procedures to discard that properly. So of course, but the p most important part to remember here is this, is that we will have proper procedures in place, I'm sure guidelines, I'm sure regulations and laws at some point on proper disposals. So this doesn't become an eyesore, this doesn't become a hazardous concern for all of us in our future generations. So with all that, I'd like to say, let's put it to bed, let's work together, let's get some ideas. Leave some comments below if you've seen or if are reading or any article links or anything of the sort relating to this. We'd love to see them as would anyone else. Thanks for watching the episode and joining us for another episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thank you.